Hello and welcome to the Let's Play Shadow Tomb Raider. So I am back in this area because I want to get these last few items because otherwise it's going to drive me fucking insane. So we have a document and a treasure chest to grab from somewhere over here. So let's do it. Looks like I need to I need it over there to do something apparently. I don't see anything down there that looks like... <laughs> Holy fucking terrible ant, Batman. Might be a place to drop down. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Survivor's cash? It is. <laughs> August 9th. I am leaving this page here to assuage any mystery should the rest of this quest prove as fatal for me as it has been for my party. My name is Jack Fawcett. I set out from Kuya Bamato Grosso on the 20th of April 1925 with my father, Percival Harrison Fawcett, and my best and longtime friend, Rally Rimmel, in search of Zed. I am the only one left. My father was lost to a pair of fierce jungle cats and rally to blunder. I myself am worse for wear but refuse to give up. My father believed we are close to Zed and so do I. So leaving two graves behind me, I will push west still with the hope that I am not walking to my own end. Hmm. So there is... Oh, I thought this was going to be like something I could swim down into. Cavern below me or some shit?
shit. Christ's sakes, when you get on the right side. Pick up this flower here. Fuck, bunny. So how the fuck... Pain in the ass. There's some dock that I missed up here, though. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago, and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, labored groans of pain, and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch. But Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. I don't get it, man. You're all wounded and fucked up, you just keep pressing forward. So all I'm missing now is challenge, chalice, a document, which this is going to drive me fucking nuts. Like, where? I bet I know where that is, actually. God damn it. Yo, story complete. Great experience for that shit.
my money is that there's a cave under this fucking lake that leads to wherever the shit is. Not in this watery spot. Maybe over here? I can't carry any more. <laughs> There's like nothing that would lead me to leave. There's a fucking ledge I can just jump off of here either. just can't do shit with and whatever this is my dear Nina once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty however those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote her before all of those pinhead sized stinging horrors would have been a welcome attrition now that I faced down tooth and claw I fought bravely but the confrontation did not go in my favor I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism my wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you are reading this, then you know I have not survived this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I'm tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. What a fucking depressing and doomed expedition. Alright, so... Is that everything? So the chalice. What chalice am I fucking... Oh, it's that bullshit. Alright. Off we go! Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to get back up there. That's not really that bad. Well, that's a little bit of a tight jump. Okay. To the right.
climb over rock walls. Oh. Dude, that legit looks like a ledge I can get up. Fucking locate it. Give me that. Did I make that? That's a job. Thank God. Sexton. In the early 19th century, this was used to measure the angle between an astronomical object and the horizon for the purposes of celestial navigation. There's an inscription here. To my son, Jack, may you never lose sight of your horizons. Alright, that is all of... Nice. So the only thing I'm missing now are challenge things which needs... I need to find those fucking flowers that are on the trees. <laughs> That's one that looks like. Now I have one more of these goddamn things to find. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Hell yeah. Alright, so that's everything for this area. Peruvian jungle, and then... Hold on, how do I go back further? So, does it tell me... Does it like a percentage? 90% because I can't get the chest. 4%. This is also going to mean like... I'm missing the chest there because I don't have a lockpick. Sweet! <laughs> Alright. That feels good. Oh, two skill points available. What do I even want? Face chance for covering arrows, don't care. Service light. Slow rounds attached to all pistols. And what's this doing? Current traps and central. Work with the heart of large animals. Any ability to harvest dark poison. Oh shit about that. Let's just do it. Holding charge shots for a long time. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. Fall in, tap B on impact to roll, take no damage at all. Never slip when grabbing ledges, more reaction time for traps and grappling enemies. Perform a stealth kill takedown without alerting. I like that, let's do that. Second we're still take down our chain time. That? Why did I not realize this exists? Oh, I don't know what I'm next. Hell yeah. Alright. The town. There's more shit to do in the town, don't we? Let's just pop here. Bunch of documents. Well, let's get the chalice thing over here. Or artifact. Ah, Relic. Whatever. Why don't we look around this area? I'll take that. Oh, 
Oh, there he goes. Cone mold. Oh, mold, like an iron, like you forged this something. This iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we know that. So let's head over to the documents. I know it sounds silly, but everything that's happening. Oh, there's one. Fuel for the future. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 liter capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. Nice. And there should be another one in here somewhere. There it is. A family Looks history. like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. Grody. Bunch of cousin kissers here. The merchant, there is... Oh, there's a thing right next to the merchant I just fucking ignored. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kawakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD, these parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. I suspect that the oil company gives zero shits. Okay, so let's go out here, hang left. Go to our merchant friend. Here, I think. No! Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. 
I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Oh man, don't interrupt his time. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. That's kind of fucked up. Are we almost Okay, where is this fucking thing? I've got some stuff to trade if you look. Yeah, I know. Disculpe me. I don't want to go any closer to that temple because I don't want to progress the story just yet. Tony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. <laughs> his pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kafirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. That's an interesting story. Are you interested in trading? Yeah, let's sell some shit. Hi there. I think I can help you. Alright, any other stuff? Oh, how much gold do I have? I had 50 previously, and I have... Four, no. Yeah, let's go back and just knock it down to 25, so that would be 21 pieces we're selling. Enjoy. Uh, did I want to buy some black powder? Yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's expensive. A good deal for both of us. Salvage. Excellent choice. Pleasure doing business with you. There we go. We can use those upgrades with our guns further. Alright, is that everything else in the village? No, we have a cup over here and a crypt. That's a fucking cup. Climb up there too much further. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. Let's go get the crypt, and I think that's what we'll call it for this exploration. For the goodies. Can't break this. There goes the island. Oh, can I just not get in there? Oh shit.
I'm not sure how I ended up here, but hell yeah. There we go. This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Paul Veneer on the base of it. Fortunate and glory. Fuck it up here. What is that hanging right there? Sacrilegious jungle totems. Oh, there's one over there. Wait, can I see that from where I'm at? Is this gonna be like the general like location of all? Probably general location. Talk to me, Goose. I don't understand. It's almost like a creel. Oh, I don't have enough for this? That's sad. Probably need some kind of explosive for that. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Fucking challenge tomb. Yeah, we'll do that next time. How do I make? Where I was? Yeah, it's just where I was. Okay. Okay. Run, bacon. Run. Dragon, this must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. People used to make miniature pieces of clothing with highly intricate designs solely for the purpose of burning them in dedication to her. That would account for the scorch marks on the floor. And those brown stains must be llama blood. Another popular sacrifice. Man, these llamas are having a rough fucking time here. Okay, so... What the fuck is that? Eagle. I don't want to go 
go into the temple or close enough. I would like to find the last sacrilegious thing. Pig's whole ass. Fuck, got one at least. There it is. What do I get from you fuckers? Oil and hide. Okay, challenge is done. Pretty much just about everything I can do in the village, except for, I guess, finding the backpack that'll tell me the survival fucking satchel locations. So, I think this is good. That's locked. I need to get my uh, language up higher. Alright, sweet. Let's hustle back to your campfire. That's the right way, right? No, I need to go just turn the fuck around. that. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm gonna make the cut here, as always. Actually, hang on. Nah, nothing new here. Uh, yeah, so as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.